were uh, from a, a helicopter which was actually hired to do exactly that not the helicopter sadly that we've seen over the last couple of days putting fires out with buckets hanging underneath them it's the third castle test match between south africa the hosts and the visitors australia with so if south africa can get some early wickets uh, maybe an opportunity to really get through this australian batting order get it off the mark works the teeny delivery down through the third man area and it runs away for four. Oh, extravagant drive off the back foot. That's what we've come to get used to a little bit with Hughes. It's 11. Yes! You have to hurry. He has hurried and he's going to get extra runs here. Because it's a ricochet is going to take it, I think, to the boundary. Yes, it is. So it's going to be five. But the run out is being referred. There has been an appeal and it has been referred. Fielders aren't particularly excited and they invariably know. But it's gone quite close to the fielder to start with. And he's safe. A beauty. He's hit one off the back foot through extra cover. Now that Phil Hughes has taken off his jumper and rolled up his sleeves, it's as if. And it's through for four. Slightly short, slightly wide, and although Khan is deep, it's whistled past him to the fence. It's clipped away down to fine leg. Very fine, will be four. Nicely controlled by Kadic and Morkel, having begun well, is now straying too much onto the pads of these left hand. Lovely stroke. He's played three this morning that have caught the eye, but in a way, because he plays fewer strokes down the ground than square of the wicket that might be the standout it's also the it's infuriating for Albie Morkel how often do we see that as well so there we go just oh! and now an appeal for LBW which is given out LBW it normally stay, takes Steve Buckner an age but not on this occasion he seemed very very sure and Hughes is happy to go. No referral from the Australians. So shot selection, letting him down. Did that hit him in line of the stumps? Could well have been outside the line, but no referral asked for. So Hughes is gone. 58 for one. That's a beauty. Yeah, that is a beauty, isn't it? It's also out caught at the wicket. Classic bit of bowling from Albie Morkel and suddenly things turn the way of the South Africans. Good delivery. It was full. Got a thick outside edge. It went straight through to Mark Boucher. Very easy catch. So that's a big blow for South Africa just before the lunch break. It's an excellent delivery. It swung and it swung late. So South Africa have come back strongly. 59 now for two. Gets one away without any conviction at all. Cut away. That's a, an area that Hussey scores a lot of runs. He's a good driver of the ball off the front foot. If it was better played. Much better played. Pulled away again, and that'll be four more. And take Hussey past the 3,000 run mark in test cricket bowled him out dragged it on Stain wins the battle of this over certainly and Hussey has to go Stain paying off yet a fuller short to delivery not entirely the bouncer and he's paid the price of not getting quite behind it and it's just drifted onto the stumps a bit of a bit of a way to go that one way and another has he gone for 20 81 for three australia it's a little chilly in the wind if you're not in the sun oh he's bowled him out clark's got a beauty what a spell this is from stain tough delivery to the new batsman trapping him up
straight through him. Beaten for pace as well. So Australia lose their fourth wicket. Clark gone for a duck. It's of an excellent spell. Oh, my word. Fortunate runs. Four of them via the inside end. Driven and through. A little bit overpitched and dispatched nicely by Kadic. A fortunate boundary earlier in the over. That was a beauty. Short pulled and nicely played. Controlled it well. Got over the top of it and has packed it away comfortably. Down the leg side. There'll be another boundary here by way of the pads. And the 100 will come up for Australia. Oh, that's wide and full and four more. It's a pour over this from Morkel. To repair the damage, goes to Katic. Oh, that's short too. It's a disease now. Packed away easily for four. Oh, that's a gorgeous stroke. That really is beautifully played by Haddon. He's easy on the eye when driving. And that was a quality shot. Nicely played. Oh, misfield. That'll go for four. One thought Prince had it covered. But in going to ground, he perhaps got a little bit of a bobble. Another Haddon boundary. Smashed away. It was short and it was wide. And Simon Katic onto it in a flash. An uppercut for four. It's a good shot. That's a very good shot. It was struck well. And Dale Stain puts the dive in, takes some pace off it. Well, it's not going to stop it getting to the boundary. Four runs. In the air. Oh, it's gone in the gap. It's gone in the gap for four. Nobody moved. There were shouts of catch it, but it was struck so well. It's gone for four. Up in the air. Should be taken. Imran Khan beneath it. Takes it comfortably. Paul Harris gets his second, and that is a huge moment for South Africa. Relief for that man, having put one down earlier in the day. He will smile. He will get pats on the head. Imran Khan was underneath that for an awfully long time. Judged it in the breeze comfortably. Harris picks up a second. Kadic goes for 55. Australia 152 for five. He put him down earlier today, and uh, thankfully for Imran Khan in South Africa, it, it didn't cost them too much in the end. His first catch in Test cricket. So Simon Kadic's long stay comes to an end. Australia now 152 for five. Easily clipped away as he strays onto the pads. Haddon doesn't miss out on boundaries getting opportunities. There's another. Oh, now surely, what about it? Is it going down the leg side? No, it's not going down the leg side. The appeal and the finger. Now, then Brad Haddon's wondering if he should ask. Yeah, he is. So we're going to have another referral. And I can quite see why, too. He's the key player. He's in. He's the danger man. And at 158 for five, if Australia can get away with this, it's a right result. Yeah, it is. It, you, you, you wouldn't maybe appeal if you were in the top three with um, four, five and six to come. Now that's uh, just the beginning of it. Also, legal delivery. I, th I think he's going to see his way out of here. I don't think it is going down the leg side. I think that's hitting leg stump. We wait and we wait. Yes! It works. It's a very, very important wicket. We just discussed. Ooh. Yeah, you do see it straighten a little bit. Well bowled, Paul Harris. Very well bowled. He's got three for nothing here. He really, really has done a wonderful, wonderful job. And he'll feel chuffed about getting Haddon out because Haddon's popped him over the rope a few times. Not anymore, though, in this innings. Out for 42, 158 for six. Well, <laughs> sort of like that. Look at that timing. Really, it's an incredible ability he's got. And part of it is the position he gets the bat into for that swing down through the line. Oh, he got the edge. He got the edge, but it didn't carry. Super bowling this. And fortuitous runs from McDonald. Four of them. 
Oh, goodness me, what a shot. Room to free the arms. He frees. Gone, gone. It was there, Fuller. He thought he could drive it. It perhaps straightened up just a touch. And he went for the drive. And Cullis makes no mistake. Seven down. Mackay and Teeny's 52nd wicket at Newlands. He's the highest wicket taker yet. McDonald fell for it. He got wide outside of stump, so did Ntini. And eventually Ntini just getting that length to perfection. He's deserved that wicket. He's worked hard for it all day. Australia, 190 for seven. Precious partnership and partnership with Mitchell Johnson. Edged and gone. He didn't last long, did Siddle. And Tini strikes twice in the same over. And Australia in heaps of trouble, 190 for eight. Well deserved. Mackay and Tini has been quite brilliant today. He had a wonderful first goal with a new ball without any reward. This time, it's two wickets in one over. In South Africa in an excellent position now. So Settle goes, he's out for naught. Australia 190 for eight. He's going for the big one. He launches it away over midwicket. One bounce for four. We may see a bit more of this from Johnson. Good shot again. He's dangerous. Mitchell Johnson. Too short. Beautifully played and placed. He's almost a little bit afraid to toss it up in the air for fear of being launched down the grounds. He's dropped that one very... And it's thumped down the ground immediately for four. Well, that's a problem. You can't afford to drop this man. He can be so dangerous towards the latter part of it. Big hit up in the air. Prince comes around. Takes it well. Judged it beautifully. It was a running catch. He had to make a good 20 meters. Stain gets another. And Johnson goes. The dangerous Johnson out for 35. 209 for nine. Clever bowling, but... Edged and gone! There it is. It was full. There was a hint of shape. And Stain does indeed have four. And Australia have been bowled out on the first day for just 209. Excellent catch by A.B. de Villiers. Low to his left. Good delivery to the tail enders. Right up there, off the outside edge. A.B. de Villiers moves well. Takes it inches off the ground. So South Africa will be delighted. They bowled Australia out for 209 after losing the toss yet again. They'll feel that they right in with a chance. That's a good delivery and a top catch. For the viewers, what a stroke that is. Lovely easy move into the ball by Ashwell Prince, forcing the error at mid-off. Bryce McGain won't like it much, but Ashwell Prince will be... Delighted to be off and running. Good timing. First boundary in Test match cricket for Imran Khan. Consequently, there are plenty of opportunities to score. And two very pumped up cricketers are taking those opportunities. Oh, even better. Just a little punch down the ground. This is a brilliant start by the South Africans. Unless Australia can find something in the next 35 minutes, we'll be... That's a very classy stroke, maybe in its way, the best of the four that have come in that area for him. Oh, well, Ashwell. Take a piece of that. Welcome to Test Cricket. The second delivery. Oh, and fires in a Yorker first up. And Prince does well to squeeze it down to long leg for the first run of the day. Oh, got it. He's gone. The first wicket. Just pushing at it. It's a good catch, Peter Siddle. On his follow through. Had to change direction. He's taken it well. And Imran Khan's first test innings ends. He's out for 20. It's 65 for one. What a terrific catch in his follow-through. Peter Siddle swooped on this one. He did well to hang on. 
changed direction, just got the right hand to it. And that's a terrific catch. Disappointment for Imran Khan. He played well last night. Didn't last long this morning. So he's gone for 20. South Africa, 65 for one. Sliced away for four. It's what he wants from uh, Amla to get him driving and find the edge. But it was a really thick one. And it sped away behind square for four. And there's a bit of timing for you. The name is Hashim Amla. Good shot. Down the ground. Has he got enough on it for it to go all the way for four? Yes, he has. Shot. Beautiful shot. That'll be four. Straying onto the pads, you dent against Amla. He'll pick you off comfortably in that vicinity. Oh, what a shot! Picked the length so quickly and makes a statement. That's through for four. Over pitch too wide. Johnson shakes the head. Amla enjoys the moment. Pulled away beautifully for four. It was a quick one from Johnson. 145. And Prince just... And that'll steam away off the bat of Amla. So good off his pads, beautifully placed in time for four. And he has four more. And that's been the problem with Mitchell Johnson. Summed up really in a couple of balls. And that's gone. Just the simplest dismissal. Exactly as Robin Jackman explained it a moment ago. Amla forced back. And then unable to get fully forward. I think that's what you'll find a lovely little nick wasn't it through to Haddon so success for Johnson who's struggled it must be said in this inning so far but how full is it and how far out towards the ball does Amla get that left foot my guess is not as far as he would have liked so he goes for another well played 46 162 for two it'll be four leg buys I think Yep. He's gone at him, it's up in the air and it's gone backward of point. It's gone for four as well. Goodness me. Oh he's gone again. This time he's got it. He's got it right. And he's gone to a hundred in an emphatic style. Fabulous innings from Ashwell Prince coming back into the side thrust into the opening berth and he responds with his 11th test century excellent effort Mark. that's a nice shot as well very controlled it's outside the off stump and he plays the hard sweep all along the ground for four and that might just be into the railway line just a little bit short, Callis onto it in a flash. Well, there we go. You might need one out there now. There he goes again. Four more. This is shown in the way he's bowled. Thrashed away again, beautiful footwork to a short delivery. Four more to Callis. McGain's pain continues. Is that a night? Whipped away through mid wicket, beautifully played. Hilfenhaus is after it. Ball wins, another Prince boundary. Swept, very fine. But it'll run away for four more. Callis getting a bottom edge off it, another hugely expensive over from again. 14 from it, 245. Beautiful shot. And there is an example of hitting the ball at the top of its bounce. No one was really able to do that yesterday. Callis standing, oh, he got onto that quickly. Didn't Callis pick the length early there? What a thrilling way to go to 50. 
fabulous shot. His 52nd career, 59th against Australia. And you can tack on 30 hundred. That's good footwork. Curris really got into this game. That's even better. That's a gem. What's more, it's maximum. Well, certainly cashing it. Oh, I say. <laughs> Just have a look at that. That's disdainful. It's also immensely powerful. Shot. Shot. He knew exactly where he wanted to hit that Ashwell Prince and he skipped down the pitch to get closer to the ball, closer to the pitch of the ball and he placed it wide of mid-wicket. Brings up South Africa's 300. It's gone a long way. Man at mid-off was interested for some time. One hundred and fifty to Ashwell Prince. He's played some innings, I tell you. The crowd rise to him. And a question asked. The Australians seem convinced. The man that counts the most does not. Have they got a referral? You've got to refer it. There you go. There you go. They thought about it for some time. Just saying, we've seen the cut, the pull, the drive, slog sweep, down the ground, over the top from Ashwell Prince. We haven't seen the little glove down the leg side. Is this it? What a sort of innocuous little delivery, if he's going to be given out, to be find yourself getting out to. That's all okay. A little loosener, sliding down the leg side. Oh. He gone. Convinced already, are you? Yep. What a sad way to see it all end. That I may have to agree with you, Pom. There's also that little sound, isn't there? We can hear it. I don't know if the folks at home can. The sound of a ball brushing glove. Hot spot? What does hot spot say? Nothing. Here we go. What's it gonna be? Daryl says not out. I say out. And so does Steve Buckner. He's given it out. Nashville Prince's innings comes to brilliant innings. The crowd will rise and applaud him as he walks off. 150 of 249 balls. This is how he went. Steve Bucknell passed on the decision made by Billy Bowden. But enough of that. Let's enjoy the moment. The fine innings from Marshall Prince. And what a way to come back into the team. Classy, fluent for four. That is Callis at his best. Absolutely. So steepling over the top of everything. He's got a little bit of bat on that. Somehow some fortune. Thought he'd got beneath it, but 15. Nicely played, intentionally hit up. Short, wide, cut away. It's gone for four. Oh, what a shot. What a superb shot from A.B. de Villiers. Wasn't too short that, but De Villiers put it away for four with ease. Three seven four for three. Always oh, got onto some of those quickly. That's not his best bit of timing with the pull stroke, but it'll still run away for four. It'll take Jacques Gullis to 99 here in Newlands, the place that he grew up. Oh, say, the ball was just hit so hard. And although there was a shout of catch from Brad Haddon behind the stumps, Michael Clark did rather even see it. It is.
Oh, what's it hit? And we got bat on that. Yeah, we got bat on it. It's been a long time coming. A long, long time. Almost three years to the day that Jacques Callis last made 100 against Australia. Except that we have yet another piece of drama. Just wait a minute, because a leg by has been signaled by Assad Ralph almost perversely. And now Cape Town boos the umpire. Callis is disbelieving. So he must wait on 99 and we must all wait. got a big inside edge on it but it's neither here nor there it's inside edge in the box I reckon now South Africa got a referral now I don't know whether uh, no, the third umpire may just have seen that hotspot replay wait a minute he's changed his decision Jacques Callis has a hundred extraordinary I don't think I've ever seen anything like it or does he? Or doesn't he? De Villiers gets one short, um, albeit the last over. He's going to take advantage of it. There's the signal from umpire Steve Bucknell. And he's driven effortlessly through the covers. It was no more than a push. Nothing flamboyant off the opening ball of the day. But he'll pick up a couple and move into the 40s. It's up in the air and it's going to be out. Easy as you like. Cullis has not added to his overnight score. He looks at the pitch as if it was the offender, but I fancy it was more a misjudgment from South Africa's captain. An early blow as Australia strikes through Hilfenhaus. Callis goes for 102. South Africa, 4.15 for four. Where did this come from? Nowhere really, it looks like he's just trying to knock it on the onside off his hip and he's got maybe a leading edge. So, disappointment for Jacques Cullis. Out for 102 and the first wicket falls of the day for 150. Beautiful batting day. As well as previously. <laughs> oh, it's lovely to watch one so natural. That's a terrific stroke. JP Dumini, yeah. the drag on, looking to attack the short ball. And that will be a disappointment to what is a building crowd here at Newlands to see a, a, a real favourite, a man that has been taken to the hearts of all South Africans have to walk back to the pavilion. JP Dumini, bowled out by Mitchell Johnson. Short delivery leads to his downfall. The cut was probably a better option there. It was too wide to pull. So off the inside edge, that's the end of JP Dumini. He'd be disappointed. Gone for seven, 443 for five. That's nicely played. Very well timed by Mark Boucher. His 14th delivery and what a way to get off the mark. It's in the air. It's found the edge. McCoy edge this time, but it's in the gap for four. On! He's gone for the drive again, Mark Boucher. And this time, caught in the slips. Johnson gets his man. And he's won the battle. Dutch got away with one. The previous delivery, there were words exchanged. Follow up one. It's pretty useful. Johnson strikes yet again. It's that foolish delivery. Asking the batsman to have a drive, which has worked here. Good, comfortable catch. Ponting seldom misses out. So it's all going here. Australia's way here. Yeah, they're picking up wickets. This is exactly what they would have wanted. Boucher gone for 12. South Africa 467 now for six. Quite well played in the end by Albie Morkel. There was a moment of panic. And because he kept watching the ball, he was able to control the defensive action. Beautifully timed deflection. Masterful from A.B. de Villiers. Old-fashioned leg. 
What a stroke that is. If we haven't already seen the stroke of the morning, we have now. We have indeed. Oh. This crowd is enjoying this. Some of the hard drive, power and precision. This is the most terrible baptism for Bryce McGain as 500 is up for South Africa. Hit that. There won't be any stopping that either. Albies away. Isn't he just? So please the selectors. Angles it away to the man of the deep. They're running hard. Oh, there was a little hesitation, but they're back. A.B. de Villiers to his ninth test hundred. His third against Australia. His first at Newlands. Well appreciated by all, particularly his teammates. It's been a really good knock. Some air given, and this has gone miles. Morkel can hit them, and there's an example. Nine from the over, 5-2-5 five, five for six. He played for four. My word, that was a good shot. Over the top it goes, skimming away for four. Another Morkel boundary. And has hit it sweetly. Cut into the ground and gone for four. Oh, that's a good shot too. It's got through. A dive put in by Hilfenhaus, who is at mid-off, but he can't stop the Morkel drive. That's maximum. Oh, what a shot. Super work with the feet. He danced down the wicket. A.B. De Villiers got to the pitch and he's got it over. Oh, goodness, that's gone into the railway line. Brilliant shot. What a shot. A.B. De Villiers greets him with six. Just helps him on to out there, but it's not going to bother A.B. De Villiers. He's smashed this one even further. Six more. That was a poor delivery. It was short. A.B. De Villiers. There goes again. It's gone for six more. Three in a row for A.B. De Villiers. Some fabulous shots being played here, and the crowd loving it. Takes them on. Has he got all of this? Yes, he has. It's gone for six again. Number four. That's four in four deliveries. It's six. Well, that was unexpected. I don't know what Elvin Walker was thinking there. Maybe just uh, momentarily lapse of concentration. Pitched basically leg stump and hit leg, so I didn't really do too much. He just played across it. But anyway, a good innings by Albie Morkel comes to a sudden and surprising end. He's gone for 58, 591 for seven. That he does, or reach 150, we should say. Oh, and he does in glamorous fashion. An innings of absolute excellence in every way. He's deserved the applause, the recognition. It's been very entertaining. Good shot. I'll never finish this. Four to Harris. No square leg on the boundary, which is difficult to understand. But He's hit it straight down the throat of the man at deep mid-wicket. So ends an outstanding innings. It had everything. It had entertainment. It had quality. And it had good running between the wickets as well. Well played, A.B. de Villiers. It's a long hop. A.B. de Villiers, he's middled most of them, but not this one. Straight down McDonald's throat at deep mid-wicket. So that's the end of a wonderful innings. A.B. de Villiers has gone for 163, 637 for eight.
And he's got two. Two in the over without a run being scored. Well, that's unbelievable, really. So that's uh, 152 overs gone. Gatic comes in to bowl for the first time and gets two wickets straight away. So maybe, just maybe, he should have bowled a long time ago. So Dalstone goes, he's out for North South Africa. They lose their ninth, 637 for nine. He's drilled that back past. Goodness me, he's hit that hard. Oh. Nearly took the umpire out as well. Six. Outside edge and the end of the inning. So South Africa won't go past their highest ever score of 682 for six against England at Lords 2003. But it's been a. a a really entertaining day. Mitchell Johnson fully deserves that final wicket. Four wickets for Mitchell Johnson. It's been a terrific effort. Over 37 overs, so he's played his part once again. Very good batting effort by South Africa. They established partnerships early. The top order made the big runs. And they look convincing. So they lead by 442. There's a lot of overs left tonight, 38 of them. So it could be a tough period for the Australian batsman to... Who clips him through mid-wicket for four. That's an interesting beginning by the Australians. Back-to-back -back boundaries, first through mid-wicket and that one beautifully straight. In the air. It's gone over him. It's gone all the way, but just for a moment, Simon Kadic must have wondered whether it would. It was thrashed away for four. Oak doesn't even think about running and doesn't have to. Sweet shot. Sweet timing, and it's beaten Prince at mid on. And we'll rattle away for four more. It's 43 without luck. Super shot. He put the man back and then he floated one outside the off stump. Katic gleefully accepted. Got him! Got him! Harris has got the breakthrough. Well, he never is at it. Thick inside edge, goes very quickly. Or caught. So. Philip Hughes goes for 32, and Australia have lost their first wicket for 57. 57. Got him. Dale Stain wins the battle with a wonderful over of fast bowling. It is the wicket, it's the ponting wicket, maybe it's the moment. It's a loose drive, it's excellent bowling. Dal Sain kept his cool, he kept pitching it up and just moving it away from Ricky Ponting. Ponting tried the off drive a few times in this over, he tries again once too often and a thick outside edge, Boucher makes no mistake. And it's a big wicket for South Africa, Ponting is gone for 12, Australia 76 for 2. It's a nice shot. A very nice shot for four. 83 short, too wide, and despite the fact that there's a boundary patroller, that will whistle to the fence. 100 up for Australia. Last ball of the day. Through the cordon for four. A useful delivery from LB Morkel. Just angled it across. The drive from Huskorn and it's going to run away for four and 50 for Simon Katic. 131 for two. Does do the trick, encouraging the drive at last. Paul Harris has some redemption for it was he who dropped Simon Katic a little earlier. He'd get out. Yes, he might get caught short leg or back pad, but not. 
head high to mid off. He did not that have that in mind. So a patient innings comes to an end. 54 Katic, 138 for three, Australia. Given where South Africa. He's got him caught in the gully. Bit more in that delivery, hit the pitch hard, and Hussey gets it off the shoulder of the bat. South Africa have their breakthrough. Four down. Rushed Hussey, bounced on him, and the simplest of catches. Big breakthrough. South Africa will feel they, are, they really have a chance to get amongst the Australian batsmen. Australia now 146 for four. It was a nice juicy off stump half volley, but the ease with which it was dispatched was a joy. Back away for four. It's almost as if being hit down the ground in the air means that Dumini will overcompensate. It was too short and wide and easy pickings. Packed away easily. There was width offered and the opportunity to cut accepted for four. Could be taken. Is Dumini backpedaling. It just seemed to be keeping carrying on the wind. But he had enough to launch himself backwards, cup it in with two hands. And what a bonus wicket that is with the new ball available for South Africa. Harris strikes again. Hedden goes. It's 191 for five. Well, Harris is a winner in the most familiar fact. The amount of people caught in the mid-on region, really good players. I immediately think Peterson, Simons, Clark, and now Haddon, and others. It's a good take by Dominique, but he was always going to catch it, you felt. And Brett's right, it's a huge wicket. Had him gone for 18, 191 for five now. He has excellent footwork. No extra flamboyance with the stroke, but just pushing it in the gap at cover for four. As good a shot as we've seen all day. He's dragged it on, unluckily, Michael Clark, but Stain is struck with a new ball. Clark goes for 47. And Australia, 218 for six. Stain doing the job here for South Africa each spell. He's picked up a wicket. And on this occasion, it's the good one. The big one of Michael Clark. You always got the impression that it was a bit tentative against Stain in this new ball. And this was a little tentative push out. That'll stump away from the body. And so often you can drag it on despair yeah, for Michael Clark. Dale Stein has won the battle. Three short of his 50. Australia now 218 for six. Mitchell Johnson's got back and across and just punching it up through mid off. It's got enough on it for it to run away for four. Just really good looking stroke from McDonald. Make that five boundaries, but this one's a long way. Way, way back. Maximum. That's a great shot. Like where McDonald intended it to, but it's gone for four. McDonald was looking more through extra cover. Shot. That's a quality shot off the back foot. So this partnership getting quite ugly for South Africa now. It's uh, moved through to 60. Very quickly. Stroke. Mitchell Johnson to square drive and it's gratefully accepted. Brings up his 50. 52 now, 51. And South Africa stemmed this flow of runs here. Morkel, none for 55 from 14 so far. He has a job to do yet. Some good qualities to his like that beyond drive brings another boundary and the hundred partnership what a superb shot by Mitchell Johnson he smashed that into the crowd brilliant stuff 
we're both dead right. What a shot too. He's down the wicket to the pitch and bang for six. Last, the last, given out LV, no, given out court. And immediately Andrew McDonald wants a referral because he doesn't think he hit it. Definitely given out court. And there is no way. Clearly off the front pad, was it an inside edge or was it a glove on the way up? Good catch by Obi de Villiers. Very strong appeal as well. Hard to tell. Well, you, from what you can see there, a bit like one we had earlier today, there'd be precious little for Billy Bowden to... Oh, let's have a look now. What, where's the hotspot mark there? Is there a hotspot on the inside edge? Is there a hot spot on that inside edge? That could be the killer as far as McDonald's concerned. Whoa, inside edge on the pad, surely. Hot spot might have worked the Oracle and made Bowden look at it from a different angle. So it appears like off the inside edge onto the front pad. I said Ralph goes back into position. Billy Bowden's spoken to him and given him all the information. He's got it out. McDonald out. Well caught by Amy de Villiers at Silly Point. Hugs all round in the South African camp. A terrific innings comes to an end. 68 and 99 balls by Andrew McDonald. An innings that has, if nothing else, given Australians hope and pride. Pat first, then inside edge, or inside edge onto the pad. So the decision goes in favour of Paul Harris and South Africa. Very good innings by Andrew McDonald. He's gone for 68, 381 for seven. Harris does it, and he's on a hat trick. A five-wicket haul for Paul Harris, and a thoroughly deserved haul too. It surely can't happen to Mitchell Johnson again that he's left stranded. Harris is on a hat trick. Just two wickets to get now for South Africa. Good delivery. Siddle had to play at it. No doubt this time. Bat and pad. Aby de Villiers does the job again. So two from two for Harris. Newlands has come alive again. The first ball duck for Peter Siddle. 381 for eight. Yes, you little beauty! A 6 0 wins it! What a moment for Mitchell Johnson! What a way to go to 100! That's a stunning performance! Applause all round from the Australian change room, and why not? Richly deserved century. He missed out at the Wanderers. He didn't miss out today, and what a way to bring up his first test century. Now, Johnson's got one. And he comes back for two. McGain's really got to go. McGain's run out by miles. And this time, Mitchell Johnson just lost the plot momentarily. Very, very good bit of fielding. Magnificent gather by Dahl Stein. He picked the wrong fielder. Engelbrecht is quick. Quick to the ball. He's got a good arm. There was never two. But just look at this gather throw is not his best but Dale Stain kept his eye on the ball picked it up on the half volley and completed the run out so that's terrific stuff by Dale Stain and he has completed the debut from hell because Bryce McGain is just run out without scoring it's 388 for nine way yes another maximum to Mitchell Johnson it's raining sixes one and away for four next to slip prince takes the catch harris with his career best he gets his sixth and south africa have exacted victory just before close on the fourth day what a moment for paul harris 
and what an entertaining test match this has been. Six to Paul Harris. He learned his cricket in this part of the world. But late has come under a bit of criticism. His position in the side has been looked at. South Africa have considered other options, but uh, it's 209. Bowl Australia out in their second innings for 422. And it's proved to be a memorable victory. Nine innings and 20 runs.